Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to Backyard Basics. I'm John Drumgool. One of the most important things about your garden, organic garden, or any kind of garden is good compost. And you make the best compost at home. You can buy compost in bags everywhere, but the best is what you make at home. Plus, it doesn't have to go to the landfill or some other place where it's not used properly. Homemade compost. Some of the composters are kind of expensive, although the city has had a rebate program for a very long time, making it more economical. A lot of folks will uh, live outside the city and won't qualify for that, but you can make a composter very easily. This is chicken wire, of course, and this one has a black coating on it. It's kind of a nice one. It won't allow it to rust so quickly. Here's that chicken wire, and then this is a one by two a pine. And that's what you're seeing on here. Gloves, because you've got some pointy um, edges on this chicken wire, and a good stapler. And so what we'll do is, um, and this is a miniature version. I didn't want to bring a big one down here because they're harder to see. But the miniature version right here is um, 20 inches tall or so. What I've done, look at it right here. See these door latches? This is how you hold it together. Let me get this one right there. The traditional old-fashioned door latch. That allows it to open up, and you put it back together. You know you're opening it up because you need to move it now and then. Once the pile gets full and uh, is beginning to um, be ready, then you need to um, move it, or lots of times the organic matter that you're putting in there cooks in the middle, but not on the edge right here. And you need to have some of that spend time in the compost pile. I would suggest that you build it about four foot tall. It's easy to get up into that four footer, and uh, most people of any height will be able to use it uh, effectively. Plus it gives enough mass. This right here is just a, um, a couple of feet long, not too much. It's about four feet. And so uh, you can see what size it makes with the four foot um, length of this wire. I would suggest that you use an eight footer or a 10 footer and get yourself a nice big pile for all of that organic matter. One of the main things though about this whole device is taking it off periodically, moving it over, taking that material and going into that one. Here's a look at some compost right here. This is leaf mold compost. We'll be raking our leaves uh, much of the year around here actually. And so this is a wonderful compost. You don't need to add anything to it except some moisture. Look at that. It smells great. It's a beautiful compost. And I think it's one of the better ones. Just like in the forest, it's a beautiful product to have as a mulch or as a soil amendment. So. Why not save a little bit of money and make yourself your own compost pile that is going to be durable, last for many years, and really be a nice thing for your garden. There's nothing better than homemade compost for that organic garden of yours. In reality, any kind of garden benefits from some good compost. I'm John Drongul. This has been Backyard Basics, and I'll see you out in the garden.